Let's keep this highlight short and simple. Let's go backwards. What would call this bottom, this zone to work? What would give you an indication down here instead of up here or up here that this was going to be the bottom? Well, let's rewind it. Well, first of all, let's fast forward it all the way up to here, and you could see that it was the bottom. So let's bring it back. What do you see as we come in? Well, let me do it slow. We're coming down pretty aggressively into this 16 half, 17 or 18 half zone. And every time I grab it, there we go. We're coming into it. Bam. When I said bam, what do I mean? Watch this red here kick out, which is showing us a bunch of little Johnnies got short. Let's do it again. Let's walk into the 18. Bam. Right there. Right here. In fact, as I was recording this, you'll probably see my pen come out and draw it. Let's go back. Bam. There it comes in. A bunch of other red comes in. Here comes my pen. This first I say it when I see it in here. And then I'll go back to review it and circle it. Right there. But when it comes in is right there. What's this showing you? Well, if you watch enough of my videos, you hear the acronym OPP or puke tool. Other people's position is what we track. And so I say you're either in our group or you're on our charts. We have a huge sample size of retail traders or when they're long and short. And so what we're looking at is the Johnny come lately is in the shorts that get stuck in the hole. That was a phrase back from the floor. When you're stuck in the hole, it means you sold it and the chart ends up looking like a hole. The chart ends up looking like this. And people are short in the hole. Guess what? You got to get people short in order to create the hole. That's what this is showing. Yeah, there's some green that's kicked out. But when that guy came out, came out pretty big, that was a moment to cover a short position if you were short or open a long position if you were bullish, qualify a zone. Do you know what most people do when they have a zone? And most people have zones and levels and support resistance. You know what they do? They're bidding an arbitrary price within the zone, and it worked, but they weren't on the team. It ends up working to the tune of 13, 14 points and, and more. And they're like, man, I got a great zones. Doesn't help if you're not on the team when they work. So you're bidding an arbitrary price down in here, and it just comes into the top of the zone. And you can look back and see my zones are good, only if you could qualify them. So this was the place to get long because you've seen shorts get trapped, never navigated to the bottom of your zone. And then you know what happens when the zone doesn't work and you're arbitrarily bidding it? You get those, bam, it cracks right through you. You're long, wrong, and you're chasing it to the downside, to the wrong side. So you got to qualify any zone you have. It's not the quality of the zone. It's the quality of the qualification that you have and the tools that you're able to read order flow, which is following the intent of other people's orders. The order to open up a long position or order to open up a short position is vital to read what might happen next. And if a bunch of shorts get in, generally, not generally, but that's what you need for price to then rally. Why? Because shorts equal buyers. You don't believe me? What, what do you put in? What orders do you put in after you get short? Buy orders. So shorts equal buyers. And what does it take for price of anything to go up? Buyers. So. You're going to need shorts to come in, creates the bottom, and then it's a qualification technique. That's it. And you're going to have to have it because no matter how good your levels are, no matter how good your analysis is, if you're not reading the real time, which is qualification and disqualification, you're going to miss many of the times your zone works, but you're going to catch most every time it doesn't work. And then you see fast forward, it just runs up. And where does it run up to? It runs up to not only this zone, but then where a bunch of longs get in here and so on. So step by step by step. Most people do not categorize their trades into steps. Therefore, they don't know if their step one or step two is the one that's weak or strong. And then even if they do know what's weak, they don't have the proper drills to then get better at it. They think just by swinging a club, they're going to be a better golfer. And a lot of times people who trade, they don't even know what a golf club looks like. 
using the analogy of trying to be a better golfer. Could you imagine trying to be a better golfer and you're using a baseball bat? That's what a lot of traders are getting into this business are doing, and they don't realize it. And so that's what I mean. We like those guys. They're the ones on our charts. 